Each year, more than 600,000 women in the United States have hysterectomies. Recovery can be long, up to six weeks. Now doctors are doing a new type of hysterectomy with only minor belly button incisions. Health News 2 reporter Diana Davis has more. Well, Monica, most women who have hysterectomies are young. 75% are age 49 or younger. Most of them are working, so they can't afford to take a long time off. Now, this new procedure does get them back to work within just a couple of weeks with only tiny scars. Janet Freeberg is only 46, too young to thought for a hysterectomy, but severe endometriosis put her in constant pain. Yet the idea of a major operation like a hysterectomy was frightening. Just horror stories that I've heard from other people, how long they had been laid up and how big the incision was and how painful it was. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How Janet's you doctor been? told her about a brand new procedure done without an overnight hospital stay and only three tiny scars. Within a week I was doing really good walking around and not feeling like an old woman <laughs> bent over. The surgery is called LSH, for laparoscopic supracervical hysterectomy. Through just two tiny incisions, the surgeon detaches the uterus, then removes it through a third half-inch incision in the belly button. If we do it early in the morning, they can go home somewhere in the afternoon, and they can go back to normal activity just in two weeks. In the old way, they had to stay in the hospital for two or three nights and recover for about six weeks. The doctor detaches the uterus with tiny instruments that cut and seal blood vessels at the same time, making the surgery virtually bloodless. Guided by images on a TV screen, the uterus is pulled through the belly button through a special cutting instrument called a morselator. That instrument is able to cut the tissue in a way that will accommodate that narrow passage. We can safely remove the whole uterine body, even after two pounds weight, through that small opening. Janet says it was easy. This is the way to go. It's very easy for major surgery. Now, the LSH procedure cannot be used for women with suspected uterine or ovarian cancer or for patients who have severe pelvic inflammatory disease. The operation costs about $10,000, and that is about the same as traditional surgery. John?